So I had an interesting one come in the shops today. So the customer complained that the brake pedal was rock hard only when they put it in reverse. So I did a test drive and confirmed for sure only when you put it in reverse and not all the time, the, the pedal was rock hard. So I went ahead and hooked up a vacuum gauge to the vacuum hose going to the brake booster to see if the booster itself was causing the problem. And this is what I found. I don't know if you can see the vacuum gauge right here on the dash. Okay, it looks pretty normal. Roughly 20 something inches of vacuum there. Uh, but when I put the car in reverse, you can see the gauge. Oh, now it's all right. So we have an intermittent thing where I put the car in reverse and the vacuum will literally drop out as you can see right there it's just going next to zero and the brake pedal will get really a rock hard and then intermittently it will go back up to 20 inches of vacuum and I have a great brake pedal but the only thing I'm doing is shifting it from reverse to reverse put it in reverse boom drops out so I hook up my speed spoke smoke machine and I found the vacuum hose going to the booster was cracked right here. And as you can see, it's pouring out. So what was going on is as I was putting it in drive, the hose would pinch off and seal up and it would be good. Put it in reverse and it would create a vacuum leak in the hose, losing vacuum to the brake booster, causing the brake pedal to get hard again. But the reason why the hose broke in the first place is because the vehicle had a bad engine mount and the engine was rocking back and forth causing the hose to flex and break. So we put a new hose on and a new motor mount and the problem was fixed.